Hi guys, my name is Peter and welcome to a brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can configure Tailwind CSS for your React project. Along with that, I'm gonna also show you how you can customize the tailwind.config.js file so that you can add some additional properties to some existing classes as well as create some custom classes as well. So without wasting more time, let's get started. So the first step is to head on to tailwindcss.com, the official website of Tailwind CSS. And after that, let's click on the get started button. And this is going to take us to the official documentation of Tailwind CSS, where you can find all thing, everything about uh, Tailwind CSS. So right now we are in the installation section and let's click on framework guides. And uh, here you can see all the different frameworks that Tailwind CSS can connect with and uh, let's click on create react app since we are going to integrate tailwind css with a react project and here you can see a step by step guide to do the same and uh, let's start off with step number one that is to create a react project so let's do the same so i have opened up my terminal and let us enter npx create react app and provide a name as uh, demo app and press enter and let us wait for uh, our react project boilerplate to be created and i'll see you guys at the end all right guys we are done with uh, the creation of our react application now let's cd onto our application and i'm gonna open up our project in vs code all right now we are basically done with step number one and now let's see step number two that is to install tailwind css so let's copy up the first command so the first command basically installs some dependencies that are required for tailwind css to run so let's copy it and let us open up the internal terminal of vs code let's paste it and run it all right now let's copy the second command so this command is going to create two different files that is tailwindconfig.js and postcss.config.js and these two files are required so that we can customize tailwind css according to our requirement so let's paste it and run the command and as you can see now we have got the two different files right here and let's see step number three as step number three is to configure the path so all we have to do is to copy the content from here and paste the content right here in the tailwind config.js file and let's save it and step number four is to add tailwind css directives to css so let's copy the code from here let's go to our src file and here let's go to index.css and i want to remove all the code from here and let's paste it and save it and also let me do some slight cleanup so let's go to our index.js i want to remove all these from here Let's go to app.js and now remove all the code from here as well. And let's save it. Let's go back to our documentation. And uh, the next step, that is step number five, is to run our application. So let's copy it, paste it, and run it. So we have successfully created our React application and installed our Tailwind CSS on it. And now let's see if it is working or not. So I'm going to simply copy the code from here and let us paste it right here inside our app.js. Let's paste it. And as you can see, it is working perfectly fine. And let us try providing another class here. Let us see text dash sky dash hunter. And as you can see, the color is also working perfectly fine. Let's provide 500 so that it's a bit more brighter. So another cool extension that you can use with is called uh, Tailwind. So this is a really useful extension that you can use so that whenever you're typing Tailwind CSS, it actually provides some suggestions that, that can save a lot of time as well. So as you can see, we are successful in installing Tailwind CSS. And let me also show you guys how we can configure uh, the tailwind.config file. So here you can see this is our file and inside the theme is where you basically provide uh, custom classes or uh, class extensions. So if you want to provide some additional properties 
to some existing classes you provided inside the extend tag and if you want to create some custom classes you basically provide it inside the theme so this is how you do it and now let me show you guys some example so here we are going to use some custom colors so this is some custom colors that you can find right from tailwind's official documentation so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it right over here let's save it and let me remove the last two and now we can directly use these colors so these are custom colors that do not come uh, pre-installed with tailwind css you need to basically add them separately and for example now let's go to app.js so this is basically a custom color that comes pre-installed with tailwind css and now let's see what's going to happen if we use a custom color so let's enter text dash purple let's save it and it's working perfectly fine so this is how we can add some custom properties to Tailwind CSS and also you can add some uh, extensions to some existing classes inside the extent. So for example, spacing 128 colon 32 rum. So this is a basically an extension to the width. So whenever you provide w-128, it's going to basically assign a width of 32 rum or around 500 ish pixels. So this is how we can add an extension to an already existing class. And uh, that's all about customizing the tailwind.config.js file. So in this video, we have seen how we can install Tailwind CSS to a React project as well as I have shown you how we can customize the tailwind.config.js file. So that's it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys have got any queries, you can put that in the comment section and I'll help you guys out. Thanks a lot and I'll see you guys in the next video.